More broadly speaking, institution-wide diversity, inclusion, and belonging efforts have to be accelerated if they've not been started in our institutions. Structural biases need to be addressed. They need to be called out and more forcefully um, and, and rapidly addressed. And gender wage gaps, which still exist, have to be eradicated. Family friendly, flexible in, flexibility without judgment and with family friendly benefits like childcare and longer leaves are going to be a very important part of an equitable agenda coming forward to support women. And women in science need to be seen and need to be heard. Um, this has been alluded to. We as scientists and as leaders in the STEM fields must be proud, proudly out front we must raise our voice, must take a space on the center stage, be on stage at conferences, to be interviewed for news articles, to appear on TV and social media, to lead meetings within and outside of our own organizations. By becoming more visible, by having your voices amplified and heard, women with much needed role models and mentorship for those coming behind us. We can't do that by being uh, quiet and unseen and unheard. Um, we also have to work to empower each other because gender is not and should not ever be a precondition for working in science. Um, but one thing I'd wanna be really clear about, it's not just the responsibility of the female scientists to lift up female scientists.